Microsoft Rewards points allow you to earn Xbox gift cards, Xbox Game Pass subscriptions, and a number of other great things all at no cost to you. So it's always a good idea to get as many points as possible, if you're interested in free stuff that is. But besides doing your daily Bing searches and daily and weekly activities, what else can you do to earn points? Today I want to tell you about the monthly Game Pass quests that are currently available for July of 2021 and how to complete each one. To check these out, you can either launch the Xbox Game Pass app on your phone or on your Xbox console itself. Now keep in mind that you can only complete these quests if you're already an Xbox Game Pass member. If you're not, I suggest you check out my previous video explaining how to get Game Pass for free every month using Microsoft Rewards Points. Once inside the Game Pass app, scroll down until you see the quests section. Here you can see all the daily, weekly, and monthly Game Pass quests available. Now like I said before, today we're going to focus on the monthly quests and the games you'll need to play to complete them. The games are Grand Theft Auto V, Rainbow Six Siege, For Honor, and Grounded. Now if you don't have these games installed and don't want to spend all day installing games just to complete these little quests, I don't really blame you, neither did I. So instead I just opened up a browser on my laptop and went to xbox.com play. All Game Pass Ultimate members now have the ability to play certain games via cloud gaming, and luckily all four of these games are on the cloud gaming list. You can also launch these on the Xbox Game Pass mobile app and play that way on your phone. So first up, let's launch GTA 5. The quest for GTA 5 is to seal 5 cars. Now in this game, that seems pretty simple. I played this game back on the 360 but haven't tried it since so unfortunately there's no save file for me to work off of. So for me personally, since I haven't played the game, it made this a little bit more of a chore than it would be for somebody that's already played it. If you're in the same boat, you'll have to go through it just like me, and you'll have to play until you complete the intro portion of the game, and you won't really be able to break free and do what you want until after you turn in your first car when you're playing as Franklin. From there, feel free to go on a carjacking spree, and once you've stolen 5 cars in total, you can then redeem your reward for 150 points for completing this quest. Now next on the list is Rainbow Six Siege. This one's pretty simple. For this quest, all you need to do is complete a training grounds mission. You just have to enter into the mission and then finish. So really just play around as much as you want and then die whenever you're ready to move on. And playing this one through streaming just makes it that much easier, not having to worry about downloading the game just to finish this one quest if you're not interested in it. But one cool thing about these quests is it might introduce you to a game that you never really tried before. All right, so after you wrap up this mission, completing this nets you another 150 points, and it lets us move on to game number three for July of 2021, For Honor. Now here's a game I've never played before. The mission is to get three kills in a multiplayer match. After completing the brief required dual intro mission that you have to do, you can finally queue up for an online match. Now I chose the 4v4 match, and it took roughly 30 minutes complete. Luckily I was able to scrap together a decent score and a good amount of kills along the way and I was able to complete the quest but it only gave me 75 points for completing it. So if this isn't something that's really interesting to you, if you don't really think that you'll enjoy yourself playing this game, it might be something to stay away from for just 75 points. I don't know if it was worth spending about 45 minutes of my time but either way it's always fun to try something new and who knows maybe you'll like it. But the best thing about this, I didn't have to download anything, I just played it straight through my browser. And finally the last game on the list is Grounded. And the mission is just to get one achievement in the game. Luckily I had a pretty old save file to work off of here, so it ended up being really easy for me. There are a number of easy achievements to earn and if you've played the game before achievements were actually added, some of them may automatically pop up for you once you log into the game. However, if you needed another one, if you needed a simple one, you can kill a small bug like this little weevil here, build a fire to roast him, and put him over your fire. Once he's done roasting, an achievement will pop, which grants you 225 points upon completion. Now this one gave the most points, so it's probably the most important to complete, but luckily, even if you never played the game before, it shouldn't take too long. So those were the four main monthly quests for July of 2021, and it didn't really take all that much effort besides the trip I had with For Honor. But all in all, I snagged a nice 600 points to add to my Microsoft Rewards total. But I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely give it a like and maybe subscribe to stay up to date on everything that I publish. But with all that said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time, I'll see you later.